In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Cloudflare account and how to create how to connect your website to that Cloudflare account. Um, Cloudflare is used for several reasons, and uh, the biggest reason that you can use Cloudflare is to protect your website against brute force attacks. Cloudflare will um, filter through their uh, servers to check for uh, attacks before the the, uh, uh, the visitor is sent to them to your website. So um, that's an added layer of security. Also, it can speed up your website by caching your website in certain certain parts of the world. That way, um, when someone from say, um, if you've got your your um, your website based in uh, on a server in Canada, say someone goes from China and looks at it, then it will be uh, cached from a server in China. That way it will load faster for them. Um, also, you can use Cloudflare as a uh, PBN and you can um, have each website with your PBN, you can have it a separate different name server. That way Google has no idea that that website is a part of a PBN. And last but not least, you can also um, do free SSLs on Cloudflare. And, and that's one of the favorite features that I that I love about Cloudflare. And quite honestly, that's why I uh, set up Cloudflare on uh, my, my websites is because it gives you the free SSLs and you do not have to go in and take the hassle of renewing them and all that jazz. Cloudflare has its own service and it's free. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to cloudflare.com. Go ahead and click on the link down below in the description box and I'll take you straight to this website. Um, also, what you'll need to do is click on the sign up button right here. The sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Just click that. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, create an email create an account with an email address and a password. I recommend that uh, if you're doing several sites that you uh, log in with, that you sign up with the email address associated with that website. So I usually do the admin, say admin at domain.com. So um, I do it that way, do it however you want. I've already signed in and uh, created my account. So uh, let me go back here to my account. And this is where it's gonna take you once you've, correct, once you've completely signed up. And um, it's really quite simple. You'll just need to go to websites over here on the left-hand side of the screen. Now you're going to want to make sure that you've already that you've already got something set up with uh, with your hosting provider. You've already got your domain. Uh, you've already bought your domain. You've already got your domain set up in your hosting provider, and you've already got uh, WordPress installed. So I always do this after all that's done. That way, you know everything's going to work correctly. So um, I'm going to click on uh, websites over here on the left hand side of the screen and you currently don't have any websites. So we're going to go ahead and click this button in the middle that says add a site and then we're going to type in our website and I'm going to type in mine. Okay and click add site and it's going to add the site. Okay now it's going to give you options to pay. You don't have to pay for anything. There's a free option. So if you scroll down, down says underneath all of the all of these that you have to pay for, says free. Okay, click continue. And uh, we're scanning the DNS records automatically. So it's automatically found DNS records. And I really don't change anything here. I leave everything the way it's supposed to be the way it shows here. Um, and then we will click continue. Okay, now the last thing that you will need to do is point to Cloudflare's name servers. And in order for it to work correctly, that's what you'll have to do. So you want to uh, add Cloudflare's name servers here. Um, so you will just click here to copy and then you'll need to go back to whoever your uh, domain registrar is. Um, I have Namecheap, so I'm going to go back to Namecheap and under DNS, I'm going to go ahead and change this to Cloudflare's DNS. And let me go back and want to copy the second one, make sure they're both in there. 
and then you want to click that save button. Okay, and that's saved. No matter who your registrar is, you need to go in and do that. Um, whether it be uh, GoDaddy, um, Namecheap, whoever, whoever else you might have. Um, so, okay, so now we've checked the name cert. Now we've done the name service. It could take up to 48 hours for the name service to take effect. Um, so we'll click check name servers and it's going to go ahead and, and check it from time to time. And then once the name servers come back to Cloudflare, you're going to get an email at the email address that you registered with that says your your Cloudflare account is active. And we are now protecting your site. So I hope you found this video helpful to you. If you did, please give it a like below. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And if you want to take advantage of the um, SSLs that I got, like I told you, go to SSLs and um, you want to do uh, flexible. Click flexible here. And that's all you need to do. And then it will automatically route the uh, SSLs to your site. Your site will automatically have SSLs and you don't have to renew them. Really, really cool feature. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe below for more videos just like this. And I'll see you in the next video.